Hi guys, today we are trying sublimation mugs. I am on my second batch of six. These ones I actually picked up in stock in store at Michael's the other day. Um, they're not the Cricut brand, they're whatever their make brand is. Um, some of them still a little sticky on them that I didn't get off, but I decided that I absolutely cannot do a full wrap um, mug in this press. I just can't, I can't figure out what my gap needs to be between my handle and the press itself. Um, I snapped one handle off. This one I thought I had good. The only thing wrong with it is this little bit of yellow and this little bit of blue or purple blue it should have been blue or slightly off I tried doing half the time with the handle more forward and half the time with the handle more back that's when I snapped the handle so I decided I'm giving up on full wraps for now I can't afford to be wasting mug after mug after mug I had one of that Grinch one that probably would have been perfect but I Forgot that I'd only done half the time and pulled it out. So, um, so what I did with my Grinch file is I rearranged it. So it's just got one strip of the lights down the center and then the Grinch and then the Grinch. So we're going to tape this one up to match that. So this is my file minus the second set of lights. And I'm also trying all four, or yeah, all three versions of the heat tape I have currently in house. So that's where I'm at. I don't really want to do a ton of mugs. I just want the option available for certain things that I typically do in vinyl that would be much better sublimated. So. I'm kind of trying to get a solution there. And I'm going to use the one I already have to kind of line myself up because I do know that everything was inside the parameters that worked in this case. And I am probably way over taping things, but I would rather over tape than not use enough at this point being that I'm still so new so um, this one you have to be a little more careful taping because you're going to have spots where you could potentially end up overlapping if you went too far I'm going to try for just like two or three pieces on each side and then one at the top and bottom for this image. Maybe two at the top because the hat is a little wider and closer to the top. So then I'm going to flip her over and put my text on. I printed on a sub paper using a sub ink in my Epson 2803. I did have a video setting that all up. I can link to if I remember. Otherwise, it's just a few videos back. Um, I promise I am still working with epoxy. I'm just. Trying to get this method down and get at least one of everything up. That way I can more work on these on my own time than your time. Because honestly, sublimation's not all that interesting to watch. I'm going to 
gonna turn my printer my press on. No. This one I pressed at 400 degrees for six minutes. I think it was 300 seconds. And I was really pleased with it. These mugs on the label said 40 seconds at like 365. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to press this one first singly, even though I can press multiples at once with this press because, um, yeah, I think that's just crazy. I don't see 40 seconds doing a darn thing. And I'm just going to kind of line the lights up somewhere. Um, so I'm going to do my own thing on time and temp for this, but I'm not going to press two at a time to start. I'm going to do this one first because I do at least have a good one of this one done. So I'd be happier to mess up another one of this one. If that makes sense. I mean, I'd be happy if none of them got messed up, but. All right, so there's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this press on. This press is a little finicky, but once you get it figured out, it's not so bad. It may still be set for mugs. I did test my fit and I should be good. So, turn it on. And I'm gonna press my OK button and I'm set to 400 and I'm actually at 360 seconds. So, not 300. So that is actually what I want. So I'm gonna watch it warm up while I tape up this last mug. I'm gonna keep this one here because this is the first one I want. I'm doing all of these mugs right-handed and I'm doing them just single-sided other than the first one you saw me tape. So I'm gonna try and make sure I get this pretty straight. You can kind of see through the paper to get a little bit of an idea if you're straight or not. I just have a trivet, wooden trivet, and a dish towel over top because I don't really have anything else handy. Um, people keep asking about this rack. This is an over-the-door rack. It's just a shoe rack from Walmart. It's pretty long. It holds a ton of spray paint or extra cups or whatever, but loaded, it's pretty heavy, so I actually kind of recommend... If it's a door you use frequently, it might not be the best answer, but I don't typically get into that particular closet. It's where our hot water heater and water softener system are. Okay, so up to temp, I'm going to put it in, close it up, and I'm going to let the time run down. But yeah, it can get kind of heavy loaded, so I don't recommend if it's a door you open and close constantly that you just hang it. If you're comfortable screwing it to the door, it might be okay. And I think you could actually unfold the hooks at the top and screw it to a wall if you had room for such a thing. So that's what that is, because I've been asked a lot because it keeps popping up in the background of videos, because this is not anywhere near my normal setup. So we're just going to let this run down. When this one's done, I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to slide, or I'm not going to slide two more in immediately. I'm going to hope this doesn't beep at me. If it's going to, I will shut it off for the time being because I do want to unwrap this one and make sure that I'm not baking the daylights out of this brand of cup.
Okay, so that's just gonna sit there and chill a minute. So, I'm going to attempt to take a peek. And again, I have too much tape on here, I am aware. And it is a pain with the gloves on, but the gloves are a must. Okay, so I ended up with a tiny bit of ghosting at the bottom, where I might have not taped tight enough. But, color rise, it's pretty comparable. So I'm pretty comfortable that this is going to be the right setting. And I'm not even sure I'm that concerned with that. So I'm going to let these sit a minute. I'm going to load this up and do two this time. We'll see how this goes. It claims it can do it. I'm almost wondering if the ghosting is because it needs to be tightened up slightly. I do want to watch my handles as I close. And hopefully I'm not shifting my paper. That feels pretty tight, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it any tighter than that. pleased with that. So. Yep, I had a little bit of a fade on the bottom as well on this one, on this side. So. That is probably my tape job, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing that could happen. Okay. All right. This one came out great. Get where I need to be. Thrilled with that one. actually quite pleased with this one as well. <clears throat> that's not actually fade in the image. That's just a lighter color at the top in this particular image. So that's too successful. So I'm going to go ahead and just do two again. And then I'll just have one odd man out to run by itself. get nervous every time I close it on a handle. So I'm not happy that I messed one up already. <laughs> oh well. Sorry about that. Just 
dropped a cup. Um, actually, I dropped it off that rack, and that is why I don't recommend it on a non-typically fixed surface because the sides are open on it and things will fall off the side. Shut my press off because I'm done with that now. All right. Um, this image to me, like from the image set itself, was much duller to begin with. Um, but yeah, I actually am quite pleased with all of these. So, uh, five out of six successful mugs, which was better than one out of six for my first batch. So, I'll have to tweak the Grinch one a little bit to get it more repetitive. But the rest of these with the single image one side, I think my sizing is spot on. Um, they're about three point I think 3.4 high or something. I'd have to double check my math, but make sure you measure your cups to make sure you're getting what you need. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased. It's taken me 40 minutes to make five cups, but um, you know, I had to do a test run, which then put me in on me and out. So, um, yeah, that's probably the last you'll see me making mugs unless it's a studio style vlog where I'm cranking out a bunch at a time because it's not overly interesting. I mean, there's taping and then there's the press and that's it. So, um, sorry about the rambling. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.